how fast you are learning these three tricks, you will become a great programmer. This tool is not only for Python, we can use other programming languages also. Important use of Jupyter Notebook, we will go directly in the browser. We have two types of commands, one is inline command, another one is block commands. Please click on subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell symbol to get notified about new videos. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about three important coding tips to become a great programmer, overview of Jupyter Notebook and few Python programming basics. I have mentioned time for each topic in the comment. You can directly view the topic as you wish. As a beginner, we must remember three important coding tips. First one, depth knowledge about the IDE which we are using it. This makes our work easier. Example, we have a self-driving car but we don't know how to activate it means then there is no use of buying it. Same way, we must learn the best features available in the Jupyter Notebook for convenient coding. And the second important point is debugging skill. This particular skill will reduce a lot of coding efforts especially while fixing the issues which I will teach once we complete the programming basics. Third one is use Google search effectively. If you are not from the programming background, this is the first thing you must learn. As a beginner, during coding and execution, we will face unexpected errors. Rather than posting the issues in the Python forum or groups, first try to find the solution by yourself in the Google search. Just type the error message which you got and find the solution. Definitely you will get a list of solution in the Google search. Try to implement it one by one as trial and error method. Even after implementing the solution, if it is not working, then you can reach out to me. Conclusion here is, how fast you are learning these three tricks, you will become a great programmer. We are going to code using Jupyter Notebook IDE. It's always best to learn about the IDE first. What is Jupyter Notebook? A Jupyter Notebook was born out of IPython in 2014. Then it's an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contains live code, mathematics, visualization and narrative text. Open source means it's free of cost. Then we are going to do coding directly in the browser. Third important point is services for interactive computing across dozens of programming languages. This tool is not only for Python, we can use other programming languages also. These are all the important use of Jupyter Notebook like data cleaning and transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, data visualization and usage for machine learning. In addition to that, these are all the important Jupyter Notebook features. Rather than explaining it theoretically, we will use it practically during Python coding so that you will get more clarity. Without wasting time, we will start the practical session. First, we have to open Jupyter Notebook. For that, go to the command prompt cmd. Here, type Jupyter Notebook. Enter it. It will take few seconds. When you open first time, it will take some time. This particular URL will exactly open in your default browser. Now we will create a folder. Click on new. Click on folder. This folder is game. Just select and rename it. Python tutorials. Rename it. So we have created the folder name called Python tutorials. Go inside this. Now create the Python 3 notebook. Click on Python 3. The notebook is created. Rename it Programming Basics. Rename. Just by clicking here, we can rename it. Then like every tool, it, it is having menu bar, toolbar and this is the place where we will code it. We will say this as a code cell. Just print Welcome to Python Tutorials. Now run it. The program is printed. This is what in the definition it is mentioned. We will go directly in the browser and you no need to worry about the security. We are using the local host only. It means everything is storing in your local. It is not like in the cloud. The data which we are using will be safe. And uh, another good thing about this is it, the browser compatibility. 
now I used it in Chrome we can use it in the Firefox Safari based on your red browser you can use this URL. short recap we have learned three coding tips overview on Jupyter notebook then how to open it using the command prompt and then how to create a new file now we'll learn the Python programming basics the best thing about Jupyter notebook is we can create the documentation simultaneously if you press B in the keyboard it will create a line below this code and if you press A in the keyboard it will create a line above this particular code based on your requirement you can insert it now the first programming basics is comment as a programmer we must always remember one thing our program will be used modified referred by other programmers also so by including comments in the programs makes code more readable for everyone as it provides some information or explanation about what each part of programming is doing it can be done using commands and the syntax is you have to press as symbol then this is the syntax for the command whatever you give after this particular as symbol this will not be executed by interpreter we have two types of commands one is inline command another one is block commands inline command means for example for the above program I am including an inline commands this program to print the welcome message this type of line will make anyone to understand what is the use of this particular piece of code let me show an another example for wider thought I copy paste a program very soon you will also code like this for time being just concentrate on the comment alone leave about the program logic by seeing the commands we can understand what is this program this program makes a simple calculator that can add subtract multiply and divide using function and this function is to add two numbers then this is to subtract two numbers multiply divides the two number and this is an another command saying take the input from the user like this we have to provide the commands in our code so that it will be very easy to read and this line is used to select the operation apart from the top of the line you can mention after the end of that particular line also this is the inline commands the second type is block commands same example let me make it as a block command this is an example of block commands so this is another way to mention multiple lines of uh, information to the users for example I mentioned this program can add only for two numbers and the arguments defined by the user on the console then first uh, we have to choose the operation then correctly pass the arguments this is a sample of block commands in addition to this we have a doc string which I'm not going to cover it now that I will explain once we complete how to create the function one more thing I want to cover below this instead of code I'm making this as a markdown you can type whatever you want your observation here and just saving it closing it open the same document again you can see this is like description paragraph whatever you want you can write it using markup option while coding itself we can do the documentation another best part is we can download it as HTML PDF or whatever the file you want it that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries or mail me thanks for watching happy learning